All right, so you see microwave and all of a sudden it starts smoke. You see the microwave starts smoke up. You hear what's that loud spark noise? And all of a sudden the microwave is stop working. You're not getting a power nothing. Stick around, watch this video. I'll show you what the problem and how to fix it. Okay, so I have this microwave and you think with this microwave um, the person who uses my creator say all of a sudden it starts smoke you hear what's that loud spark noise and it just conk out and not working so I plug it on and show you there's no power okay so normally none of the keys are working uh, normally it, um, if it has power the light starts to come on Right, so the light up here, so it's come on. Uh, as you can see, not lighting, so there's no power. So I'll unplug this. I'll inspect this microwave and see what the problem. And I can see the problem. The problem is the transformer. Alright, so the transformer in this, it burn. Now to fix this, it just has change the transformer and run it and see it working good. Alright, so as you can see, it kind of dark. Alright, so as you can see, inside here, it burn, it dark. Alright, so you see that, you see that spot of my finger there. Alright, so. And up here, if you watch on top, you can see it black all the fan. All right, so you see a lot of smoke all about. Now to get this transformer out, right? First thing you need to do is unplug. Always unplug. Right, so this will be the transformer, the replacement transformer. Now when you install in this transformer, right? Now you gotta make sure it's the same connections. Right, so this have five connections, one, two. This two is for the circuit board. And these are the three. Now this one is for the uh, magnetron. This one is for the capacitor. And this one is for the capacitor. And this two is for the capacitor. So you need to remember when you take out this right. When you take out the old transformer, you need to remember the same way you take it out is the same way you put it back in. You cannot mix up the wires or cross the wires because you will end up in problems. Alright, so now I will remove the screws. Alright, so there's two screws that hold the transformer. Remove two screws. Any reason why the transfer does burn, does go bad is because um, sometimes it's because the person who uses the trans who use the um, microwave is because they're, they're running for too long and it catch a fire or it could be a defective transformer after a while, it is short, All right. Alright, so them two wires out. Alright, so the next step now is to remove the capacitor.
right. Now this capacitor, this whole lot charge, a very high voltage charge, you can get you can get shocked with this. Electrocuted. Very bad. It's dangerous. So whenever you take out the terminal, the wires on the terminal, you make sure you use a pliers with a good insulated handle. So you're taking your time and you're taking a one by one. Same thing across here. Alright. Now this one could stay for now. Pull out this transformer. And as you can see, okay, so this one gonna come out. Okay, so as you can see, it burn. You see on top here? See that black body? Nice smoke. Alright, so it burn. And this is the problem why the microwave not coming on. Because this part, I think in the second secondary. Yeah. I think this part of the winding, secondary winding gone. This is primary and the secondary, right? So, I will just aside. And I'll put on the new one. First, I will dust out the vent. Have a lot of stuff plug up on the vent. Make sure the vent is clean and clear. Um, screw it up. I will install one screw for now. So, put back the connections from the circuit body transformer. All right. So this one, this wire going to the um, magnetron. Make sure the, the blade in touch anywhere. Alright, 
Now this one and this this one hook up on this side for the capacitor. everything hook up on secure Alright, so you check to make sure everything correct. All the connections hook up correct. Alright, capacitor, all the wires, and now we're going to plug it on. Uh, and I put some water inside. So you're making sure all the knobs working, all the numbers working and everything right. So I'm running for 12 seconds. Alright, so we're working, the water is warm, so it's heating again. So that was the problem right here. Unplug this. So the problem was the transformer. Alright, so this is the old transformer. This is the burnout transformer. So the problem was the transformer. The micro wasn't coming on because the transformer it burn out the winding in this burnout causing no flow of current because the wire burn out it create a short so no current was flowing through to put current on the circuit board or to make anything work so now why when the person plug it on the person wasn't getting any power any beep no noise nothing because there was no power coming through the transformer you can transform and burn. So the same problem, the same problem right here, the transformer. One of the reasons why the transformer is burned out is because people cook on the microwave probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and that's wrong. You never cook on a microwave for so long. And the other reason the transformer is burned out because probably it could be high voltage, low voltage, or it could be one of the winding part of the winding it weak it have a weak point so when it have a weak point and I run the microwave for more than 10 minutes eventually you get hot and burn out it will smoke and burn out so there you have it now you know how to fix a microwave that ain't working and you know the transformer the problem and how to change it 
as always thanks for watching all my videos do forget like subscribe share leave a comment below until next time mr fix it 360 saying good luck with all your peers